Hello and welcome to the Formula Champions Feed to Win mini series, where we're going to dive in by species, uh, just to give you a little bit more detail and just kind of a quick picture of the entire program and how to use these products. Let's dive right in. So when we start talking about the Formula Champions brand and the products within the program, a lot of people ask, what sets your brand apart? Or what is your company doing uh, that kind of sets itself above their competitors? And let me talk just a few uh, moments here uh, about what is so great about the Formula Champions brand, and especially uh, within the entire Kambach Feeds family. So first of all, they're proven products. Um, these products have been very successful, not only at the local and, and county level, but at the state and national level where we're feeding more and more champions uh, every, every season. And it's very exciting to see the number of those, what we call gold level champions come in uh, every time we turn on our computers and, and get more submissions for more champions jackets. Our uh, main focus, not only at within the Formula Champions brand, but everything at Kalmbach Feeds really, uh, is feed efficiency and gut health. We want your livestock to be productive uh, and stay gut healthy uh, and be able to convert feed quickly and efficiently. So we do a lot of things and add a lot of extra components, and I think that really sets ourselves uh, above some of our competitors as far as gut health really goes. And we'll talk about some of those components here within the program. We have fixed formulas. Uh, as the grain markets change, so do our prices, and that's because our formulas are locked in. Uh, you're not going to see uh, variation from product lot to the next. Uh, we'll a consistent product every single time you open the bag, and because of that, uh, we fix our formulas, and uh, you're going to see that very same formula every single time you go to the store and open that next bag. We have a state-of-the-art bagging system and warehouse. It's a really cool place. If you ever get the opportunity to see Kambach Feeds, it's a great uh, tour and a really cool place to see. Uh, it's a very clean facility. A lot of the people that work in our mills actually wear khaki pants and polo shirts. Uh, it is a very well-kept facility. It's family-owned. Um, the Formula of Champions brand is owned by Kambach Feeds. Kambach Feeds is in the third generation of leadership, where now uh, our, the Paul Jr. is actually uh, our president. Started with Milton Kambach uh, over 60 years ago, and uh, for a long time, uh, Paul Jr., or Paul Sr., was our president. And now we just transitioned into the third generation. It is a great family to work for, uh, and just a really, really well-run um, well uh, company. We are very quality driven. Uh, there are so many checks that each one of these products has to pass before it can even maybe be bagged or go to the next um, kind of the next phase once it's bagged into the warehouse and then again uh, before it leaves the warehouse. There's a lot of things that we do to be able to guarantee you a high quality product. We have a team of experts, and this is really cool little group uh, of people within the Kambach Feeds family that, you know, out of the 600 or so employees, these are the dozen or so. Uh, that are the most hands-on and the most successful within the show stock industry. Uh, it's a really nice group that, you know, I like to say they can give you feeding advice not by reading it out of the book, but because they wrote the book. And they literally wrote the Formula Champions book. A lot of the things that you see and that you read within the program are ideas that we came up with within our team of experts meetings and group. Uh, we have a couple awesome rewards programs for you to take advantage of, and we can talk about those here a little bit later, or you can find more details on formulaofchampions.com. So let's take a quick minute and look at how we approach product selection for your sheep and goats. The, the way that I like to approach this is called feeding the phenotype, and what that is is reading the physical build of the animal and choosing feeds that accentuate their good attributes and correcting their negative attributes. Let's take a look at some of these pictures and see how we would apply this, this thought process. So we'll start with the lambs. Notice out of the two lambs, the one on the left has a lot more size and overall frame. It's a little bit harder bodied. Uh, and just doesn't quite have that overall shape. This is one that we probably want to add uh, or use a, a higher fat diet all the way through and maybe add some fat even at a younger age than we typically would to help try to burn this one out a little bit. This one could get big and framey on us. So we need to make sure that we're uh, hitting this one with a lot of energy at a younger age and keep him uh, from getting that full size that he possibly could. Compare the build to this lamb to the one on the right that's really moderately framed, doesn't have a lot of size and growth to it, uh, but still has a lot of muscle expression. But you can definitely tell this one's very easy feeding because of that extra rib shape uh, and overall middle that it's got. 
This one is very easy feeding, so we're probably going to go to something like X Factor at a bit of a younger age, uh, and maybe even add some protein to this one's diet and help give it as much growth as we can, uh, because this one could get too fat on us very easily. Let's look at the goats and do the same thing. Notice the one on the left has a lot more size and just overall growth and scale to it compared to the goat on the right. Both of these are very nice goats. We just need to approach um, the, the product selection for their feed and diet a little bit differently. The goat on the left, we're gonna have to be adding fat to it at a younger age. Compared to the one on the right, we're probably never gonna add fat. We're gonna try to be growing this one as good as we can about all the way through. So now let's dive in and talk a little bit about how these uh, products actually work and what the products are uh, in the Formula of Champions program that apply to sheep first. So if you want to start with a pelleted feed, which most people do, especially during creep feeding season, we've got a great 18% uh, pelleted starter grower that's available with your choice of medication, uh, whether it be Bovitec or Decox. Uh, this is a great, great option for those creep feeders and getting babies started on feed at a young age. We're all about maximizing uh, consumption into our babies and just trying to get as much feed into them at a young age as possible. Uh, now, you know, if, if you are one of those uh, customers or one of those feeders that like to use a pelleted feed all the way through, uh, this has been used successfully from start to finish. The starter grower does work well. Um, However, you know, 90% or more of people like to kind of transition onto a textured feed. And, and a lot of times I get the question, where do I start? So, for me, the answer is pretty simple. Power Takeoff is our number one selling sheep feed. I absolutely love the way that this feed uh, really puts the bloom uh, and condition on these lambs at a young age. We can use this uh, as early on as in creep feeding stage. There's a lot of people that choose to offer both a pelleted creep and a textured feed at the same time, just trying to maximize consumption, letting those lambs get a little bit more used to those textured feeds, power takeoff is a great way to do that. In fact, if you're having a, maybe an online sale or consigning into an early sale or just want to get those uh, babies really bloomed up, power takeoff is by far the way to go. In fact, we can keep this, uh, this feed in front of them, um, you know, all the way until maybe even 110 or so pounds, sometimes even more. This is a high energy feed that's gonna get them nice and bloomy. I like to say chubby. It gets them nice and chubby at a young age. Uh, and, and it's kind of that old school way of feeding a fat steer, that fat first mentality, because we really put a nice amount of condition and bloom on them. And I've said it already a million times, sound like a broken record, but that's what power takeoff is all about. It really uh, kind of just pours the coal to those lambs, allowing them to maximize their gain, their bloom, their condition, and just overall show ring look at a younger age. You know, a lot of times I get the question, um, you know, when can we start incorporating some exercise into our program here? And, you know, I think it's essential that we get these lambs chubby um, and maybe even a little bit fat before we start exercising. Otherwise, we're going to have lean sheep that just don't uh, have the muscle forever. So power takeoff is a great tool to be able to use and get that bloom on them at that younger age so we can maybe implement, implement that exercise program by 120 or so. Now, a lot of people are going to uh, feel like their lambs are getting chubby enough somewhere between uh, 100 and maybe 115 pounds. Uh, and so on some of these white faces, maybe even as early as 85, 90 pounds. Uh, you know, we've, we've had a couple ourselves that we want to transition a little bit sooner. The next step is going to be X Factor. And X Factor has become a very popular feed with us. Uh, this is a barley based lamb feed. So the barley is really important here and super unique to the entire program because barley is going to put a more smooth and firm handling layer of finish on these sheep. They're still going to be finished. They're still going to be fat there, but they're going to look a lot more trim, a little bit more athletic, if you will, uh, and just have a little bit more uh, of that uh, finished look, but, but still uh, handle nice and, and firm. And that's key. You know, when these sheep are getting handled to the extent that they are, we want that finish and that cover to be really firm and, and hard to the touch. And that's why barley is so important at this point. And at this point, they're maybe not going to gain quite as much on a daily basis as they do say on power takeoff because that barley tends to feed just a little bit cooler. So it's great during those hot summer months to be able to keep consumption at a peak. Um, but this is a great, great uh, kind of a step two in our two-step program here of Power Takeoff and X Factor. It's a one, two-step deal that really dials them in well uh, all the way. And then, you know, once we get to a certain point, we can start looking at some top dresses and we'll talk about top dresses here in just a minute. All right, now the last one I wanna talk about is called Showstar. And this has been uh, kind of a flagship um, 
product in our entire program. We've had Showstar for a very long time and it's been used very successfully forever. And that's why we've actually chosen to keep it. Even when we came out with the new uh, one, two step program, Showstar still had a place within our program because it's been so successful at those state and national level shows. We chose to keep it. Now this is a super complete, very highly fortified feed that you can use maybe as early as 80 pounds all the way to the end. Um, because of its maximum fortification, you may not need uh, the top dresses quite as much or may not even feel like you need to rely on a top dress. This is just a really good one and done feed uh, that's gonna do a great job. It's got a lot of uh, you know, steam flaked ingredients like, like all of our products uh, and really does a nice job getting those lambs uh, from start to finish on one single program. Very well simplified. It's a high fiber feed that still has enough energy to get the job done. Really a good product in Showstar. So it's kind of a, a personal preference whether you take the one two step program of Power Takeoff and X Factor or if you just want to go straight from Crete Feeding right into Showstar and coast your ride into the end. We'll talk about top dresses here in a minute, but I do want to highlight here uh, some extra champions here just from within the last year or so. You'll see champions from the American Royal, the Keystone International, uh, the North American, Ohio State Fair, Sedalia, uh, and Indiana State Fair. A great lineup of champions and uh, a great, um, great proof that these products really go to work for our customers. In our GOAT line, uh, we've got uh, a lot of great products and you'll notice as you start to really analyze this if you compare it to the lamb line you're going to see that there are some correlations here uh, and really that's because we designed this program uh, to be a little bit more of the goat version of some of those lamb feeds because so many people are using our lamb feeds on their goats and having such high success but first and foremost is the game plan starter this is a pelleted feed that uh, you know just really helps get a lot of intake in those baby goats at a young age. Worked really well as a creep feed, but some of our customers have chosen to use this all the way through and had great success. Um, it is available with your choice of medication, either Decox or Remensen. All right, this year we actually added uh, one one kind of a second step type pelleted complete feed, and that is the show fitter. Um, this one we can probably use for about the last 60 days, and this is gonna help really tone those goats, give them maximize, uh, maximize their muscle expression and overall firmness. Uh, and this is gonna be a really good product to help kind of keep them fresh and, and coast them into those, or keep coast them into their, their finished weight. On our textured side, this is where you're really going to see those uh, comparable products to those lamb products. The GTO Turbo is designed similar to our power takeoff, and it allows for uh, maximum uh, bloom in a baby goat. Uh, and really helps get them to take off and, and put on that bloom at a young age. Really helps when putting together uh, maybe a sale group and, and getting that, that gain and expression and bloom at a young age. Uh, this is a really good product to help feed them and really grow them well uh, and kind of get maximum performance. Uh, this has been used successfully all the way through. Or if you want, you can go to the big league and this uh, formerly known as Show Goat Challenger. This is a barley based goat feed to help do the same things as what X Factor does in our lambs. Keep them more toned, uh, put on a really smooth and firm uh, layer of finish. Uh, they're gonna be finished, but they're gonna look a little bit more trim and athletic. You know, they've gotta have that look out in the show ring uh, that helps give them uh, a finished look, but at the same time, you don't want them to look too corn fat. So this barley-based feed is really gonna help uh, key them in right towards the end. Let's talk real quickly about some supplements before we wrap up. The Afterburner First is a great product. If we do happen to get them too chubby, we want to back off some of that condition. This is a great way to uh, burn some of the condition off of them. The Filler Up is included in the Mega Champ. Remember, we talked about that. This is a dry, high fiber pellet that uh, they eat while it's dry. When it hits the moisture in their stomach, it, it expands several times its size. Uh, allowing them to have a great show day fill. And over a longer period of time, it'll help uh, increase their total volume and capacity. It helps give them a little bit more stretch to that gut. So ultimately dropping some flank and putting on some fore rib. Now on steers, I wanna just add, we don't wanna add too much fiber in the diet while we're trying to finish them because that can kind of work against us a little bit. So let's make sure that, we're, uh, that we've got those steers 90% or more finished before we start using a product like Filler Up. Air Magic Plus is a great product on cattle um, to be able to increase their overall um, hair growth and skin and hair condition. It's also used highly in the goat world, in the 
cheap world for more leg shag and uh and actually it was used uh, for a long time on alpacas and llamas help, helping to get more fiber growth so this has been a really good product and actually we call it hair magic plus because it's got so many extra benefits on top of just the overall hair growth we've actually found uh some 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 of our producers and customers that are using it um, to increase fertility rates or maybe increase the results when flushing um, so there's a lot of extra benefits for hair magic plus and that's why we added the plus to the name Hard drive is a great top dress um, that uh, helps build top shape and muscle expression. Uh, we, we kind of use it all the time on feeding market lambs and market goats. I've also used it on steers to help give them a bit more expression. If one's maybe weak behind the shoulders or needs just a bit more shape to their top, this has been a great, great product uh, for a lot of different uses. Moonshine is an awesome top dress. It's a liquid fat that we can use to help just add more calories to the diet. Now, this is 98% fat uh, and available in caramel or cherry flavored. It comes in a five gallon bucket and compared to its competitor products on the market, it is very economical. Uh, if you want to add it in your home-based rations, um, it's very simple because it's so high in fat, about 20 pounds per ton will increase the, the total fat level in the diet by 1%. Uh, but this is a great top dress if you want to use it as a top dress. And notice, and just be cautious, we use it as very low feeding rates because it is so high in fat. The next one is Power Bloom, and this is a great powder-based fat, uh, maybe that, that appeals a little bit more to the show pig market than anything, but it has been used in about every species uh, very successfully. This is very palatable, and uh, the show pigs really love it. And I always say, once you start them on it, they almost get addicted to it. Uh, but this is a really nice product to help give them maximum bloom and overall condition. The next one is Revolution. This one may not be with us very much longer because we have discontinued ractopamine within all of our plants, uh, which would be a paline. This is a ractopamine-based product uh, designed for cattle only, and uh, this is one that helps give them more muscle expression and definition, uh, especially kind of through that rump shape and lower quarter. Uh, but this is a great way, and not only does it help give them a lot of muscle expression, but it also maximizes their average daily gain. Last one I want to talk about is Show and Glow, and this one's actually our number one selling top dress. This one uh, has a lot of great benefits, maximizes gut health and feed conversion, also stimulates their appetite. And another great thing about it, because of the high levels of omega threes and sixes, it is also going to help give them a little bit more glow and uh, an overall condition to their skin and hair. So a lot of great top dresses here. If you have any questions on them, please contact us on, on how to use them or selecting the right one at the right time. Here's a quick look at some recent champions in our goat line. You'll see champions from uh, Michigan Livestock Expo, Pennsylvania Farm Show, and many other shows. I want to give you a quick look before we wrap up and show you the Formula of Champions homepage because this is something we've put a lot of work into and there's a lot of great benefits and features here. Let's uh, look across the top. You're going to see um, a list of products where you can click on and find more details even than what's in the book and uh, how to use and you know a lot more of the specs within each product uh, on our website. There's going to be a little bit of backstory about Kalmbach feeds. You're going to be able to look up and see a lot of our recent winners. You can shop for Formula of Champions apparel. Uh, those rewards programs, both for the jackets and the cutout squares that I talked about, uh, this is where you're going to find uh, kind of the main portal to get more details about those. And of course, you can contact us. Uh, and all those people on that team of experts that I talked about are available to contact on this website. The last feature I want to point out, you'll see on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, is a nice little purple rectangle that says Feed and Recommendations. And within this feature, uh, you can upload pictures and videos of your show stock and allow us to give you feeding advice to feed the phenotype. Like I said, you know, it's important to be able to look at the livestock and get a read of their physical build. And this is the best way for us to be able to help give you input because I want to be able to give you true advice based on the physical build of your show stock. That's all we have today. Thank you for jumping on with us.